Hello and welcome back to my very messy workshop. Today I would like to talk to you a little bit about a very useful device called a force sensitive resistor or FSR and show you how easy they are to use with the Arduino. Now these FSRs are relatively inexpensive and come in a variety of sizes. And as the name implies, force sensitive resistor, the resistance in the device changes very drastically depending on the amount of pressure. Now in a way, a load cell is basically a FSR as well. However, with a load cell, only very, very minute changes in resistance are detected. And those changes are so small, in fact, that you need an amplifier, such as this HX711, to even notice the change. With an FSR, however, the change in resistance is much more obvious. Without any pressure on the pad, we're basically reading an open circuit. If I just lay my finger gently on the pad, we start showing resistance around three and a half kilo ohms. And if I push with all my might, that drops to about 250 ohms. One thing very important to note about force sensitive resistors is that the change in resistance is not directly proportional or linear with the amount of force applied. So using my postal scale here, I'm going to apply various loads to these FSRs and measure the change in resistance and put it on a graph. Here's a plot showing resistance versus force for two of the FSRs. And as you can see, the resistance drops pretty dramatically during the first eight or 10 ounces or so and then really doesn't change that much going all the way out to 10 pounds. So while it's probably not a great idea to use an FSR as a scale, they can be used for more simple tasks such as detecting light objects as compared to heavy objects. Now, since the Arduino is unable to measure changes in resistance, we need to set up a voltage divider circuit and connect it to one of the analog input pins on the Arduino. To do this, we'll have a fixed resistor that is connected to the 5 volt pin on the Arduino and one of the analog inputs and then connected from the analog input to ground we're going to have our force sensitive resistor. You can buy an FSR that comes pre-built with the voltage divider circuit. You can see the resistor right here. However, this resistor can have a great impact on your measurements on your Arduino. This particular FSR, for example, does a pretty good job telling the difference between two pounds and five pounds, but I need one that can tell the difference between two ounces and five ounces. This FSR would work just fine if we change the resistor to be the right value. So how do we find the right resistor? Well, let's jump over to the computer and I'll show you how. So if we make R1 the fixed resistor and R2 the FSR, we can use this equation here to calculate the voltage that will be detected by the analog input pin on the Arduino. All right, so we know the values of R2 based on our readings from the scale, but R1 is what we're trying to figure out here. So if we use a one kilo ohm resistor, you can see that we're going to get voltages between five and 1.82 at the 10 pound mark. And this isn't the greatest resolution. So we're gonna try a 100 kilo ohm resistor. You can see that now we get the full range of about five volts all the way down to zero. However, between zero ounces and one ounces, there's quite a jump and I, I want more resolution than that. So we're gonna try something in between. We're gonna try a 10 kilo ohm resistor. And now you can see that the voltage drop across the first three ounces, which is what I care about, are, are pretty distinct. And if we convert those to the analog input values, these are what we would expect on the Arduino. And we can invert those using our code so that I would see values such as this. So with, uh, with no load, we'd, we'd see a value of zero or one, with one ounce around 200, two ounces around 400. So this will give me some of that uh, resolution that I need for my project. So let's test it out using Arduino code. As you can see, this code is very simple. We're simply going to start the serial monitor, and then we have our equation that will invert the analog reading, and then we will display it and update it every second. So let's turn on the serial monitor. As you can see with no load, we're getting a value of zero. If I squeeze the FSR lightly, 
starting to uh, detect some force and as I continue to squeeze you'll see that number continue to increase. There really are quite a few applications for these force sensitive resistors. Hopefully this has been a good introduction video for you and uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave those in the comments below and until next time thanks for watching.